what most of my mornings look like. We got my lemon water, my coffee, and my journal. Let's do it. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday, it's a new week. Um, I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. Um, and let's have an amazing, productive week. Just uploaded last week's vlog. And yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. We're gonna cook today. Very chill day. I love these type of days that are chill. I'll take you guys with me. Let's do some sort of challenge each week. And this week, let's drink a lot of water. I forget to drink water and it's so important. Just finished my workout and oh my God, Beyonce's new album is the best thing ever. As a country girly, it is the best. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know why I waited so long to listen to it, but it's really good. My favorite's the Miley Cyrus song and Levi Jeans with Post Malone so far, but I'm listening to everything again and again so I can get a good sense of what I really like. I have been trying to switch drinking like a lot of energy drinks with just green tea because I know energy drinks are not great for you and like it doesn't feel good in my body. Honestly, the Amino Lean powder is like works perfectly fine, but I just know it's not the best thing for me. So I like to drink an energy drink like once a week, which I used to drink one every single day. <laughs> and just a little tip, if you're like me and you get really overwhelmed, with deadlines work it always helps writing everything down and it doesn't work for me when i do it on my phone it has to be pen and paper and just like really write down each thing that, that i need to do every single day and then at the end i'm like okay i got this i'm, I'm not overwhelmed anymore because i'm just gonna follow what i've planned for myself the next few days poppy send me so many drinks poppy's not an energy brand by the way it's a probiotic soda they send me all these flavors i need to put them away and i'm gonna make myself some green tea because i just love it it's good for you green tea is really good for you the green tea kombucha by yogi tea is my favorite and always has cute little sayings this one says may this day be the day to lead us to peace to happiness and to joy cheers husband is cooking some chicken what are we making Jamaican jerk chicken mm -hmm. and some Jamaican rice. Caitlin Clark. Let's see, LSU versus Iowa. It's my favorite time of the day in my house. Like, how stunning. When you're looking for a house, good lighting is everything. My last house didn't have good lighting at all. It was really dark. And it affects your mood, especially as someone who's like in their house 24-7. Wow, oh, you guys. That's why it's important to get you a man. Get you a man that can cook. So excited to eat this. Guys, let's do a little skincare routine. I just got out of the shower, worked out this morning. My skin is feeling really dry. And this is kind of like been my go-to routine. And I do like to switch my products up because I always like to try new things. Um, I've been using the base milk from Ilya. And I really like this. It's like, it feels the same as the road milk. And I feel like it does the same thing. Pat it. I then like to take the Clarins Double Serum. This is a favorite. I really like it. And I like it because it's like a serum and an oil and a moisturizer kind of all in one. That's what it feels like on the skin. It feels really nice. It smells good. People get really bothered when stuff is scented, mainly because it affects their skin and stuff. But I love a little scent in my cream. I just remember like my grandma used to wear um, these La Prairie creams and they had like the strongest smell. And to this day, every time I use a La Prairie cream, I smell of my grandma and it's like, <laughs> it's like the best thing ever. And then I like to use the Charlotte's Magic Cream. This cream is so good. It deserves all the hype. Feels good, but it's not heavy on the skin. It's just like the perfect consistency for me. I gotta do some sort of lip balm. This is the Jouer one. Another cream I really like. 
because I get messages like, what cream should I buy? I have really dry skin. I want something really moisturizing. I love the Tatcha Dewy Cream. I love the consistency. It keeps your skin really moisturized without making it like oily and the moisture lasts a long time. Put a beauty, send me their new easy bake perfume because you know how like their setting powder it has this like smell to it and it smells really good but people don't like fragrance in their makeup so they removed it from the product and they made the dish and perfume um it smells exactly like the setting powder it's crazy now for some hair care favorites that i've been loving lately it is the ultimate repair miracle hair rescue and i'm almost out of this I need to buy a new one, but it is so worth it. Trust me. My hairdresser showed me this. She was like, you need it. This is a must. Another thing that is a must is a leave-in conditioner because my hair gets really naughty and I love the way one and I finished about like three, four bottles of this. So it smells great too. Apply that. Then I like to do some sort of mousse and I was at dinner last week with a friend of mine and she was like, you need the Southern Belle dry bar mousse. So I haven't used this. We're going to use it today. Go sit on the roots to get a nice volume. We cannot forget about our leave-in conditioner. This is the Moroccan oil, but I honestly use whatever. This one smells really good. Okay, I really don't feel like um, styling my hair today, so I'm just gonna let it be. Maybe I'll do some overnight curls. Cause even if you do like a curly hair routine, like that takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of heat. So it's a lose-lose situation no matter what you do. And air drying your hair is supposed to be the worst for your hair, I think, Google it. But you're supposed to, the healthiest thing is to blow dry your hair, I think. Oh, I love the Kerastase oil. I love Kerastase products. They are really good. So yeah. Good morning, you guys. Another beautiful day. I'm gonna go hike and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's go to Ren. Water. Gorgeous, gorgeous morning, soaking in the sunlight. It's like the best thing for you. Soaking in morning sunshine. Gorgeous. So stunning. I'm getting ready to go to Pilates at Aloe, and I want to show you my new sunglasses that I got. I've seen this all over my For You page. I've already tried them on. I just put them back in the case to show you. But look how cool these look. And I have been having a hard time to find these. And I found them on Amazon from like an official retailer. Um, so, yeah. I love these. And then I got some bikinis. I got some Frankie's bikinis because I think their prints and patterns are always so cute. And I also love their cuts. So it's like, I like a little sexy bikini bottom. You have a flat butt. So, any help I can get by wearing something small that makes my butt look big. I don't know if that makes sense. But I got this print with this top. And both of these were actually on sale. And then I got this. This is actually from the Pamela Anderson collaboration they did. They did like a campaign with her um oh look they have like a little quote of hers but it is this top and i like the underwire because it's just like i feel like it makes your girls look cuter this is the bottom super cute and the material is actually good i'm done with my pilates class and that was really good 
now I am on my way home. There's crazy traffic because it's rush hour. I'm gonna go for dinner. I think I'm gonna go get sushi tonight, which I'm really excited for. I love sushi. I went through a phase where I had the Hailey Bieber smoothie sushi sandwich from Air One, and I got really sick. I ate it when I was kind of sick, I think, already. And you know when you eat something when you're sick and you kind of want to throw up and you can like never eat it again because you're grossed out? That's what happened to me. So I couldn't eat sushi for a while. The thought of sushi would like make me want to throw up. So didn't have sushi. I can't ever have that Air One sandwich again, I don't think. And I don't think I can ever have the Hailey Bieber smoothie, which is so sad because it was really good. But also it's like $20, so girl math. I'm like that. Like one time when I was 15, I got sick and my best friend made me eat waffles with ice cream and I threw up for like hours and I threw up all the waffles and the ice cream. I did not eat ice cream for like two years after that because just the thought made me want to throw up and I still have not eaten waffles since that happened like over 10 years ago because that's just <laughs> that's just how my brain works. If I get sick and I eat something then I can't have that ever again. I did some spring shopping. Let's do an unboxing of everything I got. Spring is in full swing, especially in LA. It feels like summer most days. So I got some summer things and I thought we'd unbox them together. This is from Sense. I had this dress I really wanted. So pretty. It's from Beck and Bridge. It's an Australian brand. I'm going to link it below, but like how freaking cute. It's like a maxi dress. This baby pink with like an amazing tan on and gold jewelry i love it super super pretty i can't wait to wear this and beck and birch has really cute like wedding guest dresses if you're going to a wedding this summer and you want a cute dress beck and bridge they also have the brand i don't know why it's so dark they also have the brand on revolve i did get some stuff from revolve because it's so easy they do two-day shipping you can't beat that sometimes next day shipping but I got this top. I got it with a matching skirt, but the matching skirt was sold out. Um, so I tried to reorder a different size. But it's this cute little top with floral print and a little lace detail. Super cute with like baggy blue jeans and a pair of heels or sneakers for the summertime and spring. I got a dress, a maxi dress, especially if you're like a short girl like me. I feel like maxi dresses could look really cute. It's this Majorelle maxi dress. It has this cute little detail with the bows. I love it. And what I love about a maxi dress is I feel like you can dress it up or dress it down. Like I wear maxi dresses in the daytime with sneakers and a cute bag and it's like a cute little outfit. And then I got a skirt. This is from Lovers and Friends and it's a beach skirt. Um, it has different colors so you can wear it with different things. It's giving me Sony low-key, which I like, but you wear a bikini under it, perfection. Then I got a play suit, and I love a play suit. Again, if you're a shorter girly, play suits really, they're made for us. And it's this, I don't know if colors look good on me, honestly. Oatmeal colored play suit with little buttons and a color and it has little cutouts. I just thought this with some sneakers for like, running errands, running around. Especially for Florida, this is really cute because it gets really hot in Florida. Midi with a V, low V neck, open back, stunning again, like an oatmeal color, which I think looks really good if you have a really good tan on, in my case, fake tan. But yeah, and some white heels, a white bag. I really want to buy a white bag. Um, and the last dress. Um, I will link these down below by the way, so not to worry. Um, this is House of Harlow and it is a maxi dress. Wear it like this. Heels. This is everything I got. As you can see, everything is very light and creamy and beautiful. These are the vibes I'm going for. It is a very gloomy morning in Los Angeles and I'm going to Heated Room, which is a workout class. And I'm gonna go with um, Bowen T, which is a great workout brand. So yeah, I'll take you guys with me. I woke up at like five and you know that feeling when you wake up and you can hear the rain, that you know that you can sleep in for another couple hours. It's the best feeling.
forever. Okay, you guys, I just got ready for dinner. It is Saturday night and I'm gonna finish the vlog here because it's gonna be dark at the restaurant. I'm not gonna be able to vlog much. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna end this so it can be up on Monday. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what else you'd like to see from me because I'm gonna be filming a lot. And if you want a different type of video, I'll do it for you. Whatever you guys want, you just let me know. I will see you guys next week. I love you.